Hey, what's up? I'm Ashley. Thank you for watching this video. And today we're going to be talking about Cruel Summer Season 2, Episode 8. And let's get started. The events that are about to unfold take place on or around August 1st, 1999, January 1st, 2000, and August 1st, 2000. And we're going to start things off in the summer of 1999, where Megan is telling Isabella about the kiss that her and Luke had and about how excited she is about it. She's telling Isabella that this never would have happened if it wasn't for her help, but yeah, it would have. All you had to do was throw it back one time and he would have caught it. Then Luke pulls up and we find out from Isabella that he came to Megan's house early because he just couldn't wait. He was just too excited. Excited. If you don't calm your little happy self down and get it together, pull yourself together. You see Megan every day. So Isabella's like, okay, I'm gonna go get my stuff so we can head out. But Megan stops her. She's like, wait, hold up. I thought me and Luke can go up to my room for a little bit. <laughs> You're nasty. But after she said that, you can tell that Isabella seemed a little jealous or she was mad or sad or something, but either way, she was affected by it. She was like, yeah, that's okay, but nah, she was bothered. So that meant we had to watch Megan and Luke make out upstairs and Megan telling him that she can't wait to be each other's first and she's glad she waited. But Luke just didn't tell her that he already lost it. Isabella got first dibs on that. So then Debbie walks in with Megan's sister. Where's she been at? I forgot all about her. But she goes upstairs because what is she even there for? So Debbie starts asking Isabella what's wrong. Is everything okay? And Isabella is just telling her that, yeah, I'm okay. I'm happy for Megan and Luke. Why you bring them up? Because she didn't even ask you about them. So obviously you got a problem. You're not happy for Megan and Luke. So Debbie starts telling her she's going to have a good time once school starts. And Isabella agrees with her. Okay. We get to the car wash and Isabella and Parker seem to be bonding and getting along. They're talking about how excited they are to be seniors and Parker apologizes to Isabella about being so mean to her and Isabella jokingly plays it off she was like really I didn't notice and they start laughing ha 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 okay what is going on so as they're talking and taking pictures Megan and Luke show up together Parker's asking Isabella isn't it weird that they're together and Isabella's like no it's not weird at all you can tell she's a liar then Isabella walks over to Jeff and asks him what does he do with all his footage. Because, you know, he keep that camera in everybody's face. I'm going to need me a check. Run it back. Give me a check or get it out my face. Period. But he tells her that he's making a senior time capsule. No, I don't want to be in it. You didn't ask me if I wanted to be in this time capsule. You got me caught up. You got me caught up with the police. She didn't know that yet. I'm jumping ahead. But it's his fault. He always getting somebody caught up. And he was the one who snitched on Megan about that ID. He got to go. And then they turned and looked at Megan and Luke. And Isabella was saying something dumb. Something about how they're meant to be together. Girl, shut up. I'm tired of you saying that. Stop saying that. Then she looks at the camera and starts talking about senior year. So then Luke walks up to her and he starts saying something dumb too. He tells Isabella to not tell Megan that he already had sex with her. He want to make Megan think that they're losing their virginities together. And Isabella's like, no, nah, I don't think that's a good idea. And he's like, yeah, she won't take the news good. Just don't tell her what happened between us. So she's hesitant. But she agrees with him like an idiot. And ain't no way I'm about to agree with this. If she's supposed to be your best friend, y'all calling each other best friend. Jumping off of cliffs and stuff. And you not gonna tell her? Girl, bye. Then we get to Brent and Isabella. He is disgusting. He tries to holler at Isabella talking about, do you want to upgrade? And she was like, I'd rather eat glass. So as she's walking away, he unties her bikini top and starts laughing like it's funny. First of all, no, because now I'm going to choke you with my bikini top. I'm going to get the strings ready for your neck. How about that? And to make matters worse, to top it off, here come the daddy. Here comes Steve rolling up. Talking about you'll be okay. Boys will be boys. Throw the whole family away. You can get a piece of this bikini top too. So after that situation happened with Isabella, something is clearly wrong with her. So that's why Megan asked her, are you okay? 
And Isabella over there lying. That's when you say, no, no, you make a scene. You make a scene. But she's like, yeah, everything's okay. Megan's like, do you promise? And Isabella's like, yeah, no secrets, girl, please. It, it, what's going on? I already would have been made a scene. As soon as he pulled my string, I would have said, ah, everybody going to know. Everybody going to be looking over here. They going to know what's going on. The timeline wraps up with Megan telling Luke how weird she thinks it is that Debbie and his dad are dating and Luke thinks it's cool. Of course he does. And then later on, we see that Megan and Luke go to ask Isabella, does she want to hang out? Because she always has the best ideas and Isabella looked excited to be included. So now we're moving on to winter of 1999 and we're at the cabin with Megan and Luke and Luke thinks he's about to get some. He thought he was about to ring in the new year right, but he started to get a little nervous when Megan said, I want to tie you up. He went along with it. He let her tie him up, but he got a little worried. He was like, this tight. You don't think this too tight? I think it's tight. If you pull out the rope on me, I'm getting up out of there. But no, nah, he's just a stupid little horny little fool. But he did say, I think we should have a safe word. And Megan's idea of a safe word was control alt delete. He's like, what's going on? So Megan tells him that she wants to know the truth about what happened at the plunge. So Isabella walks in and Luke is shocked. He's like, what's she doing here? Isabella's telling him to chill out, relax. It'll make things better. So they both leave to go to the kitchen to make this concoction. They put some sleeping pills in his drink. Make it make sense because if he's tied up, what you need to do all that for? So after they make his drink, they make their own self a drink with alcohol, just alcohol. And then they decide to add some alcohol to Luke's drink too. Dang, y'all. What do y'all want from him? What do y'all want from him? Do y'all want him to go to sleep? Do y'all want him to get drunk? And now, since Luke is all drugged up, they start to question him. Megan starts recording him with the video camera. I'm like, did y'all take that from Jeff? Eventually, Luke admits to bragging about having both of them wrapped around his finger, but says it was just to sound cool. No, you're nasty and disgusting too, just like your daddy and your brother. Then he asks them, what are you going to do with the tape? And Megan and Isabella tell him that you're going to confess all your sins and then we're going to show the tape to everybody. Luke is begging at this point and keeps on saying that he just did it to sound cool. Isabella asked him if he knew about the tapes that his brother was making and Megan was shocked when she asked him that question but was even more shocked when Luke admitted to them that he's seen a little bit of a tape before. Okay, a little bit. Megan is livid at this point but she becomes outraged when she finds out that Luke is the one that recorded them. I can't say I'm shocked because it did cross my mind before. I just didn't think too hard on it. So Megan rightfully freaks out. She's ready to get up out of there and leave Luke tied up. But Luke is still trying to save himself. So he yells out that Isabella lied to her. Isabella looks at him. She's like, no, don't you do it. Don't you dare do it. But he did it. He admitted to Megan that him and Isabella had sex once last summer. So now Megan is mad at Isabella. She's like, we're supposed to be best friends. Why didn't you tell me? And that's just what Luke wanted. He wanted them to fight. So now it's a whole back and forth. Isabella is telling Luke, you told me not to tell Megan. You said she wouldn't be able to handle it. But isn't she your best friend? Don't you supposed to know what she can handle or not? Isabella is at her wits end. She didn't have it. She is fed up. She got a gun from somewhere. I said, where'd she get the gun from? Where'd she get that at? So she's pointing it at Luke. She's like, you told me not to tell her. You told me not to tell her. Luke said, she crazy. Look at her. She crazy. He keeps going on and on about how Isabella wants Megan to herself. She's like, shut up. Shut up. Megan is trying to calm the situation down. She's telling Isabella to put the gun down. And she won't put it down. And pow. She shot one off at his direction. We don't know if it hit him or not. Probably did. Probably grazed his ear. Like they said, like in the first episode or two. But if I remember right, that wasn't what off them it was the drowning part that did y'all correct me if i'm wrong how did he get to the water is the question was he running and accidentally fell in oh and i forgot to mention the camera was on and recording all of this so isabella about to get caught up but y'all let me know if you would pow pow luke if he didn't shut up and now we're gonna move on to the summer of 2000 where megan is trying to get in touch with ned on messenger but she has no luck 
Then Isabella walks in and tells Megan that the sheriff called her lawyer and he knows about their lie. Megan is wondering which lie because they have so many, but the sheriff knows that it's Megan on the sex tape and not Isabella. Megan tells Isabella that she knows she's the one who told the sheriff about the tape just to try to cut herself a deal. But Isabella is telling her that it wasn't her. So then Megan tells Isabella that they have a bigger problem and that Steve thinks that Ned killed Luke. And I'm with Isabella because if the attention is off them, why do they care if it's on Ned? That's when Megan lets her know that Ned has security cameras all around his property and they were filming on New Year's Eve. Plus, he has a camera pointed towards the fork in the road between his house and the chamber's cabin so they can get caught up with that real quick so megan says that she's on her way to ned's house to try to get that footage and isabella says that she's coming with her so we see the sheriff talking to this other cop and he's talking to him about the case and he shows him the tape of megan and ned and the sheriff knows that steve believes that it was ned who killed luke so he asked the other cop if he was finished looking over Jeff's videos from New Year's and the cop says that so far there hasn't been anything noticeable with Megan and Isabella from that night. They done got a hold of Jeff's tapes. He ain't nothing but bad luck. Steve approaches Debbie to ask her if she knew that it was Megan on that tape and not Isabella. She tells him that she was just trying to protect her daughter. And Steve is over here trying to act like he care about something. He said, well, what about Isabella? You was going to let Isabella go down for that? But Debbie tells him that she's not going to let her daughter go down for a crime she did not commit. So Steve's like, so what about Isabella? You going to let her go down for a crime? She just walked away. She didn't even answer him. So let's get back to Isabella and Megan. So they're at Ned's house and he didn't answer. So Megan's like, I know the code. So they let themselves in. And right when they're about to get the information that they need, the sheriff walks in. So now they got to go down to the police station. And we see them at the police station with their lawyers. And Debbie is there too, but she can't go inside. She got to stay outside. The sheriff asked Isabella what they were doing at Ned's house. And Isabella told him that they were trying to figure out if Ned killed Luke. He asked Megan if her and Isabella weren't friends anymore. Then why were they both in Ned's house together? And why did they maintain the lie that it was Isabella on the sex tape? The sheriff said that only one other person knows the truth and that he thinks that they killed him to maintain this lie. Is it really that serious though? Megan told the sheriff that Luke and Isabella continued the lie to protect her. If people knew it was her on the tape, then she would lose her scholarship. But girl, you already lost it. You already lost it. So the sheriff asked Isabella what came in between her and Megan, and she told him that gossip came between them, and Isabella confirms that her and Megan got into a fight on New Year's Eve and never made up. But the sheriff realizes that Megan and Isabella's stories don't match up when he asked them when was the last time they saw each other. Isabella said that she wasn't feeling well, so she left the party and saw Megan the next day. Megan said the last time that she saw her was at the party. So the sheriff shows Jeff's video from the party. And they were able to isolate Megan and Isabella's conversation at that loud party about getting back at Luke. So now the sheriff is trying to get both of them to spill the beans. He's telling each of them that the other one said that they brought the pills to the cabin. So now at this point, they're turning on each other and blaming each other for Luke's death. And that was pretty much it. The episode ended with us going back to winter of 1999, where we see Isabella shooting that gun at Luke. But I already mentioned that when I talked about that timeline. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode and this season as a whole down in the comments so we can talk about it. And if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one.